Hi everybody. This video is going to be a response to the mini documentary that Vice just came out with this last week. So probably about, uh, probably about two years ago, one of the producers contacted us about being in, participating in the Vice article. And unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we never felt comfortable with having people come in or also we weren't quite comfortable with how the ABDL community was going to be presented. We get approached a lot about people wanting to do documentaries or interviews about what we do in the ABDL community. But as all of y'all know, um, sometimes you're not really sure what their intentions are. So with this article, I, you know, we, the, the producer who contacted us was just awesome. He was like really adorable and we did want to work with him, but again, things just kept happening that prevented us from being able to. So I am excited. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm kind of excited to watch this along with you, um, and to kind of give my feedback from the nursery perspective, um, about what what we think of this. So I'm hoping everything was like awesome possum and like it's gonna be rocking and, and people are gonna learn a lot. So let's see. Can you imagine being in a headspace that you are so relaxed that every single care that you think about as an adult melts away? How was that? ABDL stands for Adult Baby Diaper Lover. That's a full diaper. You waited too oh long. What's wrong with you? Numb. They actually have an idea. Ha, <gasps> guess my baby. Age <laughs> That's Donye. He's such a dork. A potty mouth. A little girl should not have a potty mouth. It isn't necessarily overtly sexual, but it's a bonding experience. If you see an adult in a diaper, why do you think they're a pedophile? People want what they had as a kid. It's very nostalgic. There has been this whole economy that has sprung up to serve the community. Mm -hmm. In addition to manufacturing adult diapers, uh, I also wear them uh, all the time. See, so this is one of the one of the things that I was concerned about is that it's coming under the guide to sex, and not all. Hopefully they get into this, but not all ABDL and age regressors or age play enthusiasts are, are sexually motivated. So the people who come to me for sessions are definitely looking for that over the top mommy experience where all of their choices are taken away. They're 100% submitted and not in charge and just there for whatever happens to them. I had lost my father when I was younger and I was very close with him. And then once he had passed, I felt like my life had changed. Part of me was just like not there. So being able to be in little space, like I can go back and think like, you know, oh, I used to do this when I was a kid. Like I'll put my diaper on and like my pajamas on and then like find an old movie I watched as a kid. Just because it was fun. Just because it's like one of those times where it's like, you don't have to be in the right now. Uh, so again, I don't know if they're going to go into this, but having a little out in a play area like that um, uh, throws up some red flags for me. And I don't know that that this mommy does this all the time, but that can cause a lot of issues with the community. You could potentially be putting actual children in harm's way by um, exposing them to someone dressed pretty inappropriately in front of kids. But again, they might just be doing this for the sake of this, this Vice article. An adult in a diaper is not looking for a child. They're looking for another adult. You know, even the recent studies that have been done show that pedophilia and ABDL are not connected. You know, I've had issues with stalkers. I've been called every name in the book. It, 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 it's very simple. I like diapers. <gasps> Caitlin! And you can spend 15 minutes holding that quarter to the wall, remembering why we don't swear. A little girl should not have a potty mouth. That's right. The media has portrayed this as being something super sensationalized and, and all that, whereas in fact, you know, this is one layer to someone's life. You know, um, it may be a big layer, it may be very important to them, it may not be. Is it 15 minutes yet? No. Time goes a lot slower when you're misbehaving, doesn't it? It still amazes me that a lot of the BDSM and kink groups who are into some 
pretty interesting things and they'll draw the line at wearing diapers and then I look at them like mm -hmm. really because I know some of the other stuff <laughs> that you all mm -hmm. enjoy so that's so weird <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's it's kind of interesting how that goes sometimes you think you've learned a lesson about swearing yeah you're not going to do it again mm -hmm. that's right how about we take that nap so that was interesting. Actually, that turned out a lot better than I thought that it would. So that's awesome. I think that they did a really good job at kind of talking about age regression and then also the kink side. And with the exception of just like a couple of things that, again, I, I don't know that they, that Mommy Cat normally does that. Probably not. I mean, she explained everything really, really well. I think that um, she, she came across really well as well. And Caitlin was adorable. And I love that they went in and did the shopping. And it, it really is like that when you are being a caregiver, you really are just kind of engaged with, with your little and everything that they do really is cute. It's not an act that you put on. It really, you just like with, uh, with kids who go into, or with littles who go into little space, as a mommy, you go into like mommy space too. And it becomes this kind of really cool dynamic where you're able to just love someone and that little is able to just be adorable except for when Caitlin said the bad word and that was terrible but you see mommy's reaction was very much like shocked because normally Caitlin is a very very good girl I'm sure but that time hers looked terrible um but it's very very I think that they did a really good job on that I I think I wish that because when we were initially talking to one of the producers my my concern was that people really weren't going to be talking about a lot of the people that we deal with, with our, you know, therapeutic non-sexual age regression. And that is the um, childhood trauma. Now, again, not everybody has childhood trauma, obviously. Um, not everybody is the same. Everybody's different. And actually, I just did a video the other day about it. And hopefully you guys can take a look at that because I kind of go into the different characteristics of the community that we found. But there really is a very significant amount of people who do have that um, trauma and who use this. There, there are like some connections. Like Caitlin was talking about um, with a parent passing, they weren't able to experience the bonding that they wish they had. Because sometimes it can be real or perceived. I'm, I'm going down a different rabbit hole. But overall, I think that the, the Vice did a really great job for what they had. And being able to do that during a pandemic is awesome sauce. And kudos to them. And I think, again, I'm really impressed with how Mommy Cat like came across and how she explained everything and, and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's all I can think of right now. If I can think of anything else, I'll put it down. But good job, everybody. Yay, go team. <laughs> Bye.